equation 105, okay, from module 7. The diagram shows a field in the shape of a rectangle, PQRS, which measures 7 meter times 6 meter. Rachel wants to move from one point on the PS. Okay, so here PS. So, dia nak gerak dari sini lah. So, the distance from point A and B is always the same. Okay, where's A, where's B? Here A, here B. So, you kena pastikan distance ratio uh, from point A and point B is always the same. So, macam mana tu? You nak gerak macam mana? Okay, so this is point A and this is point B. How to move? So, now I join point A and B. So, how how you, how you, macam mana you nak bergerak? Supaya you punya jarak daripada A and B sama. Of course, you akan gerak macam ni. Tengah-tengah A, B. Ini midpoint of A, B. Okay. So, of course, you akan uh, gerak macam ni. Straight. Okay. So, that. Uh, okay. Here to here. And here here to here. The same length. Right. Uh, so, jarak you daripada sini ke sini. Daripada you pergi ke A. And then, in this question. Uh, let be R lah because now Rachel want to move. Okay, so the distance from Rachel to point A and distance Rachel to point B, okay, is the same right now. So, dia kena gerak kat mana? Dia kena gerak macam gini. So, dia lalu kat tengah-tengah. Uh, Rachel lalu dekat tengah-tengah A and B lah. So, actually, this line is known as perpendicular lines, right? And actually, uh, this perpendicular lines is a perpendicular bisector. Kenapa dia bisector? Sebab dia lalu dekat midpoint of AB. So, bila dia lalu dekat midpoint of AB, uh, distance ratio from A, ratio from B, always the same. So, maknanya kalau you join ni, point ni dengan point ni juga, tak kisahlah kat mana-mana pun, ratio ada sini ke sini ke sini ke, tak kisah mana-mana. Okay, dia punya apa? Distance always the same from A and B. So, ratio uh, move, okay, from one point on the PS. So, kita tak tahu kat mana lah, somewhere here. But make sure, right, uh, her distance from point A and B is always the same. So, you need to find what is a point A and what is a point B first. Okay, sebab you tahu nanti, ratio dia akan gerak, dia akan gerak tengah-tengah antara A and B. Uh, so, ni A, B kan? So, you kena cari dulu mid point tu. Okay. Uh, okay. So, let's find the coordinates of A and B first. So, kalau kita tengok di sini. Okay. All together here to here 6. So, maksudnya ini dah 2. 6 minus 2 here 4 lah. Uh, okay. So, kalau saya keluarkan. Saya ada macam ni lah. So, this is point A. Okay. And then, given that, here to here, is 3 meter. Meaning, X is 3. Okay, how about Y? Y, here to here 6. Here to here 2. Huh? Kalau you nak cari Y coordinate, maknanya you kena dapatkan tinggi ini. Uh, so, tinggi ni lah. So, all together, 6. Here, 2. Of course, here, 4. So, this one, 4. So, coordinate of A is 3, 4. Next is B coordinate. Given here to here, 4 meter. So, sini katakan B. So, sini 4 lah. So, X is 4. Okay, 4 meter. And then, tinggi ni, dia dah bagi dah 2 meter. So, here, 2. So, sekarang kita cari midpoint of AB. So, we take 3 plus 4 over 2. 4 plus 2 over 2. X coordinate plus both divided by 2. Y coordinate plus both divided by 2. So, you'll get 7 over 2 and 3. Okay, now you want to find distance from P. Where she should start. Okay, so sekarang Rachel akan start uh, 
dia kata dia move from one point on PS. So, kita tak tahu kat mana dia nak start tu. Okay. Jadi, sekarang ni, yang pastinya soalan ni tanya, distance from P. Maknanya, dia nak, dia dekat mana dia mula tu, daripada tempat dia mula ke P tu dia nak tanya. Okay, tadi kita tahu dah. Okay. So, dia kena gerak tengah-tengah antara A and B. Okay. So, dia kena gerak. Contoh, katakanlah dia gerak. So, kalau saya lukis line, eh, macam itu. So, dia... Line tu mesti perpendicular lines lah. Perpendicular bisector. Okay. That line passes through the midpoint of AB. Tadi kita dah cari midpoint of AB. Yang pastinya, okay. Rachel tu bila dia nak bergerak, dia kena bergerak dengan keadaan uh, ini A, ini B. Okay, kalau kita join, maknanya dia kena gerak tengah-tengah. Uh, antara A and B. Where this is the midpoint of AB kita dah cari. So, that line is perpendicular by sector. Ini perpendicular by sector of AB. So, dia 90 degrees kat situ. Okay. Sekarang you nak kena cari. So, sekarang ni kita tahulah. Rachel ni dia gerak dari mana? Dia gerak daripada sini. Uh, from here. So, ini katakan tempat dia start. Saya label S. S. So, this is P. Find distance from P. Maknanya sekarang soalan tanya, you kena cari jarak ni berapa meter. Uh, macam mana nak dapatkan length tu? Uh, so macam ni. You dapatkan dulu equation of, so sekarang saya ada ini S. Tempat Rachel start tadi. Ini A. A tadi adalah midpoint. Uh, sorry, not A. Uh, this is actually midpoint. A tu sebenarnya kat sini eh. Ini A. Tu B kat sini. Ini adalah midpoint of AB. So this is a midpoint of AB. Okay diagram tu dia dah mengkeliru sikit. Okay so sekarang ni midpoint of AB tadi adalah apa tadi? 7 over 2, 3. Okay. So you nak dapatkan uh, maknanya kita boleh because this is Y axis. So, you dapatkan je lah. Because this one P, right? 0, 0. Origin. So, you dapatkan je lah tinggi ni. So, tinggi ni kita boleh dapat dengan cara kita dapatkan dulu Y intercept. Ha, so, kita dapatkan Y intercept of line. Uh, so, I label sini M lah. Midpoint of AB tadi. MAB. Midpoint of AB. Not gradient lah. M besar. Capital letter M. So, you dapatkan Y intercept of the line at S. So, S tu uh, tempat Rachel start tadi. M ni tadi adalah midpoint of the line AB. Uh, so, ni kita nak dapatkan equation of this line. So, once you dapat equation, you akan dapat dia punya Y intercept. So, this is a Y intercept. So, we, bila you dapat Y intercept, bermakna you dah dapat dah distance from P where she should start. So, dia start dekat sini. Okay. Distance from P maknanya total length ni lah. Okay. Kita dapatkan dulu equation. So, nak dapat equation. Since this is a perpendicular bisector. Kita dah belajar. AR always reverse. Uh, nak dapatkan gradient kan? Nak dapatkan. You kena dapatkan dulu dia punya equation. Okay, so kena dapatkan dulu gradient. Nak dapat gradient, kena cari dulu gradient. Gradient, small letter. Gradient of AB. So, A tadi koordinatnya 3, 4. B, 4, 2. So, cari gradient. Okay. M for makan. Makan dengan tangan kanan. Ha, cari magnet. Okay, so you copy dulu. 4, 2. Bawah 4 ada 3. Bawah 2 ada 4. Minus. So, dapat 2. Eh, negative 2. Okay. So, sekarang you nak dapatkan equation of the perpendicular bisector lines. So, AR for always reverse. So, the gradient of the line is, the gradient of the line is always reverse. Reverse of 2. Okay. This one is actually 2 of negative 2 over 1, right? So, become 1 over 2. Negative become positive. So, 1 over 2. So, 
apa tu jongkit naik uh, ikut tip saya x plus k uh, you, you get the equation lah so how to get the k ganti ganti titik ok substitute so you sebabkan nak cari equation of this line equation of perpendicular by sector AB ya. so this is the gradient and now this is the equation so you substitute any point that lies there that is 7 over 2 3 so substitute x y is 3 x is 7 over 2 ok, okay akan dapat apa ni 6 minus 7 over 2 5 over 2 this is not the one to set because this one is x plus k uh, oh sorry k is 5 over 2 k is 5 over 2 you get it already so how to get the y intercept you divide by 2 lah so you divide by 2 you akan dapat 5 over 4 ok divide by 2 the whole set x divide by 2 5 over 2 divide by 2 you get 5 over 4 meaning your y intercept here here the y intercept is 5 over 4 so bermakna length ini adalah eastern ok daripada tempat dia mula Rachel start tadi saya label S kepada point P adalah 5 over 4 meter dan ok next state the pattern of the journey oh, ok of course lah the pattern of the journey is perpendicular by sector of AB so actually this line is perpendicular by sector of AB so you write perpendicular by sector of AB done.